<laughs> you moved. You no, moved. We had already gone live. It shouldn't matter because that that's those should be our. Let's go take. Let's take a look. Hi, everyone. Take a look, but I think you moved at the end. Oh, I was laughing. I couldn't hold it. I've, I know. Oh no. Oh, this is great. No, it came out fine. Hi, everyone. We're Hi. before we come on. What we do is we, sometimes we agree to make funny faces, and. uh and sometimes he's left me hanging. Sometimes he's he said we're going to do it and then didn't do it. <laughs> done that before. So here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I, I, love, I love our inner children. <laughs> we're going to bring it out today. Yep. <laughs> I just did a quick cheers. live on my... Yeah, cheers. I haven't actually... I've got my glass empty. Um... <laughs> I I did a quick live to say that we'll be over on yours. So I don't know if you wanted to quickly do that on your Facebook. Oh, no, you're going on your Facebook, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Where are we live on your Facebook, my YouTube? And in 5D Facebook. In, in 5D, 5D Facebook. Facebook. Yep. I gotcha. Yeah, because just in yep. case people are trying to find you on your in 5D, obviously it's not happening, is it? Happy, yeah, exactly. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to everybody that's in the UK. It's already yeah. your, your New You're Year. Already in here. Yeah, we're we're still stuck in 2022 back back here in the United States, but I'm a drinking <laughs> bit of Bailey's. Yummy, yummy. Bailey's. What are you on Kalua? Yeah, this I'll show you. Made a post on it. Cheers. This, this is what I got: Co pepper, peppermint Kahlua and sky vodka, a little milk. It's white mm. Russian. We got twenty six comments of what everybody else is drinking with us tonight here. Oh, good. And it yeah. doesn't matter if it's cocoa; we don't care. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. We're good with that. Yep. Oh, look! So, they're even sending pictures in. Mm -mm. I think that's that's just a gift. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's not a live thing. No, that was oh, that is though. Yeah, yeah, that picture. is. Yeah. Very cool. That's lovely. Oh Sambuca great. and Grand Marnier. Yeah. That's for Linda Linda Winger. Linda. Good for so I made you. A, made a little picture in Photoshop and put it out there. And I said it's gonna be an amazing year. And I put it from us. Also oh, from Alan Craig. And it's, yeah. it is going to be an amazing year. And you guys are going to see through some of our predictions. Yeah. Um, what's Very going on. Very exciting times. Yeah. You, know, you said that 2020, was it 2020, was going to be unrecognizable, didn't you? Yeah, by the end of the, the, end of the year would be un, un, unrecognizable. I said that on New Year's Eve 2019. Even more unrecognizable in 2023. In a good way, a really, really good way. In a very good way. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm. So shall we say hi to everybody that's joined us in chat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. Okay, yeah. It looks like most most of the people are let's see. Yeah, we got <laughs> 19, 19 on the psychic alley page, sixteen on N five D and seven on my personal page. So hi to Sue McCarthy Ooh. and Marejo. Hi. Marejo. Bon, Craig. <laughs> Hi, Happy New Year, Bon, because he's yeah. in the UK. So Hi it's our... Yeah, he's up late. Yeah. Uh, Lydia. Lydia and Misanthropy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa. Hi. Melissa. Hey, uh, hey. Very happy New Year to you both. Much love, joy, much happiness in 2023. Same to you as well. Hi, Terry. Happy New Year. Terry. Hi, Neil. Cheers. Happy New Year. Giovanna. Good evening. Hello. Happy New Year to you. Hi, Bella. I'm glad Happy New Year. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Bella. <laughs> Vanessa and Nova Fox checking in. Happy New mm -hmm. Year to you both. And Carol. To you both lovelies. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Lisa Lovestar is here with us. Hi, Lisa. And Susan Wade. Hi. 
and Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, everyone. Yeah, we got. We were so tempted. I, I was on the phone last night with Allie. I'm like, I'm going to tell you this one because I, I got to. And she's like, okay. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't tell you this prediction because it would take the surprise away. The we haven't told yeah. either one any of our predictions. You did one. You did one about the airlines. Oh, that's true. I did. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. But none of the others, nothing. No. I haven't told you any. I told my mum because uh -huh. I popped them to my mum's today. Yeah, so. So, <laughs> well, your mom won't be surprised with yours, but she, she might be with some of mine. Yeah. She's given a couple. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She's she's got a couple. Um, I need to send a link to Phil to bring him in at some point too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he wants to do some predictions, doesn't he? Yes, he's got some predictions as well. Mm. Mm -mm. Well. So YouTube, nothing on YouTube. YouTube is still being dicks. Yeah. All right. Dig this, everyone. YouTube gave me a strike two days ago for a video I made two years ago. And it was a spirit <laughs> chat video. And when they give you a strike, you can review the video, which I did. And not only did I review it, I did a screen record through my Filmora software. I was able to record the whole video to make sure so I could go back and rewatch it and all. There's nothing on there. And they said it was for harassment and cyberbullying. And there was absolutely nothing on there. And so I, 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 it had to have been the AI that detected something from two years ago. So I appealed it and instantly it was shot down, which told me they didn't, there was not a human watching that when it got appealed, they, it was the AI yeah. that said no. So I watched the video and if anyone's had an issue with strikes while you still have your channel, I'm not sure if this would work for Phil or not. It, it might though, but you go to um, YouTube on Twitter and tell them here's the, I got, I recently received a strike and I, I don't, I would like a human to check this out, the video out and you know get rid of my strike for me uh and and uh so i did and i've got somebody looking it over right now but it wasn't in time enough uh to get um the strike lifted so i think that's by design us, though that's by design oh yeah i don't think they wanted us to do our predictions on in no. 5d no. channel no yeah no nope. so but we're going to do it on here and then we're going to take it down, aren't we? So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to move this to BitChute. So whatever mm. you're watching right now, it'll be on the N5D BitChute channel. Mm. Hi to Mia. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mia. Deborah says, Happy New Year's, everyone. Sending love and energy from Michigan, where it's nice and chilly Aww. there. Hi, Vera. Thank you for joining us. It's nice and late for you. It's even an hour later there. Yeah, so it's like 310. 10, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The airlines in big trouble. I got a prediction. We'll mm -hmm. see. Stay tuned. Hi, Jody. Year of miracles. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing year. Oh, yeah. Marianne agrees. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Charlene. Thank you for joining us. And Carol, watching on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, and, like I said, What's that? It's on my YouTube, isn't it? Yes, it's on the Psychic mm -hmm. Alley YouTube channel. So, yeah, you're not mm -hmm. going to find it on the N5D one because of the strike they just gave me. Yeah, it's a two-year-old strike. Yeah, Sue. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Hi to uh, Unique Designs by Catherine and Carla. Thank yep. you for joining us. I know Carla and <laughs> Hi to Alexis. 
Hello. Wow, yeah. isn't that something? So you can rent David Icke's film, but you can't watch his channel. Well, that says it all. Yeah. Hi, what Isabella. does that tell you? Yeah, right? It tells you it's crazy. I, I agree. Yeah. Yep. yep. So do Very you have any, any prediction you want to just throw right out, right off the bat? Hmm. Um, you go first. No, I only had 33 of them. You got 6,000 of them. I haven't. I'll find one. You do it. Okay. Actually, before we get into the predictions, here's something that's, I think everybody should know. Um, <clears throat> 2023 is a seven year. It's a universal, a seven universal year. A universal year number tells you what areas of life and which themes will be important to you for the year. A universal number can help identify the upcoming trends of the year, which can help you look for areas of opportunity in both personal and professional capacity. The 2023 keywords, keywords for this year will be analytical, faith, intuition, logic, philanthropy, self-reflection, and spirituality. So in numerology, seven is associated with spiritual awakening and development, intuition, and inner wisdom. It's also associated with individualism, independence, and self-awareness. According to numerology experts, the number seven is ruled by the moon. And in the year of 2023, those with a life path seven are predestined to discover the meaning of life. So that those are just some things to set up the predictions. So we're in a, a, a seven universal year this year. Um, Sevens in tarot are always crossroads. It's a gamble. Mm. All right, I'll, yep. I'll come out with one, one simple one. Because <clears throat> a lot of mine, I have like some that are like bundled together, five, three, nine. They're all tied together. This one is just one, I think. Me There's going to be a big, big drop in housing prices globally especially in the United States and the UK. If you were thinking about selling, sell now. And remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Entertainment purposes only. Um, 2023, the Nuremberg trials begin. Yep. Good. Hold them accountable. Yep. Mm -hmm. There will be cures for some of the symptoms of the jab. They'll be quick and simple. Wow. Um, silver is at the moment being deliberately kept low. And this is to help people buy it because in the middle of 2023, it's going to skyrocket. I have a silver prediction too. Go on then. I do, but I'll get to it later. Oh no, because it's relevant now. It may be tied into other things though. Yeah. Let me see. If, if it's not tied into other things, I'll tell it right now. No, I can't. It's tied into nine other predictions or seven, eight other predictions. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm just looking through mine as to I'm jumping um, mm. because the first one is quite like, oh, oh dear, I shouldn't say that right off the bat. Okay. So as we all know, the financial system will close as it is now. And that will be all countries. Um, the new system will be in, in place and the old system will have an in-depth investigation with a new policing 
system, not associated with any other current system. Um, there's going to be, um, it's like they're all going to be investigating the CIA, the FBI, um, MI5, they're going to be investigating. This is, this is um, totally new, um, but they're going to be investigating and held accountable. Um, so the financial system is going to be obviously looked into in a big way. Public trials will be televised. Um, it will be on a new TV channel um, that is not known now. Um, this will be free and will be restricted on age. Um, but all adults over the world will have access codes. It will be graphic. So it is warned, um, you know, discretion. But you'll be able, you will see what has been really happening. But it will be on a separate TV channel. You go. No, I'm just, I'm watching, I'm listening, I'm joining you. Continue. <clears throat> okay. Okay, alongside this channel, there will be a running tab telling people that there's free counselling for anybody that this is triggering. And if they are affected in any way, by the person that's on trial that they have got to get in touch straight away and there will be huge compensation going out to these people who have been affected um counseling carers nurses their pay is going to be hugely increased um in in 2023 they are going to be seen to be the backbone of society and not bankers banking won't be anymore it will be the people it will be the people that keep this country running i want you to do some okay i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna throw out nine in a row all right go Okay, and they're all tied together. Okay, so the US dollar officially dies this year. It actually died in 2012 when the Fed's charter was never re renewed. There is increasing pressure from BRICS, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South America, to go to a gold backed currency. Saudi Arabia and China left the US dollar, which begins the stock market crash and it actually man it just crashed i wrote this this was the last day of the stock market was horrible i lost like three thousand points but th that's just the beginning folks it's 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 going to take a huge dump um, as investors lose faith in the us dollar expect to see at least 100 dollars an ounce silver by the end of the year all of this forces the United States to go to a silver gold backed currency. Revaluation of the currency brings all prices down significant, significantly, including car and home prices. This is the proverbial death of the United States as we know it. But through the death, the U S has an immediate rebirth as the Phoenix rises from the ashes directly in correlation with the Twitter files and all the corruption they're exposing. Because of this exposed corruption, suppressed inventions will begin to surface, beginning with free energy. So we got the death of the US dollar stock, stock market crash, $100 silver, US goes to gold back currency, revaluation of the currency, car and home prices drop significantly, death and rebirth of the United States, uh, exposed corruption, corruption leads to suppressed technology being released and free energy. Nine, nine predictions all thrown into one. Bam! Bam! <laughs> I love it. That's good. That is good. I love the free energy bit. Yeah. See, the free energy would make sense with what I'm getting. 
about this world being so different, just so different. It's going to be great. And if you guys okay. have predictions, here's your chance because yeah. they're it's, put them in the chat because they're all time stamped yeah. and yeah. you'll have a, a chance to see how your predictions fare in a year or whatever. So join in, make your predictions as well. Um, so these trials will be in the US or the UK, but it's going to be everywhere, all over the world, all these trials. Yeah. Yeah. And the channel, anybody can watch this specific channel. Yeah. Okay. So Mia said, do you feel we have a magnetic pole shift? I don't feel it, but you have one. You have a prediction link to that. I may as well go into it. Okay. I think you should. Yeah. Now's a good time to do that one. <laughs> okay. Airports around the world will be shutting down for several days for what they're going to say is maintenance, but it'll really be for readjusting GPS software in conjunction with the ongoing pole shift. Yay. I, hey. I, didn't say all the, I didn't say all my predictions are going to be butterflies, bunnies, and unicorns, but I'm, I'm, you know, with that being said, you know, I live in Florida. I'm not moving. If there's a pole shift, I don't think, I don't feel that's going to happen. Anything drastic anytime in the near future anyway. So, but yeah, that's, you're going to know the underlying reason though of why when these airports start doing that so you, you have a little heads up but this is for entertainment purposes only so yeah yeah um the ray how the t it will be on um it will be on youtube too so i've got predictions about youtube as well do you have any predictions on youtube i do yeah that's interesting <sighs> okay gosh go on making me Spit out all my predictions early. <laughs> Five predictions on this one. Through Elon Musk and the Twitter files, shadow banning is exposed on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. In the midst of this, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook and YouTube's Susan Wojcicki both resign. Unfortunately, old accounts do not get reinstated, but people can still use their email addresses and phone numbers associated with their old accounts to start up a new account. All shadow bans are lifted and are deemed illegal with extremely heavy fines and jail time for those who impose them from this point forward. Can I read mine? Because it's the same. Oh, I knew yeah, this yeah. Was gonna happen. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyone who has been shadow banned will automatically be compensated. All earnings that you could have earned will be coming to you. Um, and there'll be no more shadow banning. It will have the highest um, degree of penalty. So, wow. yeah. Then, yeah. Awesome. And this is for entertainment Ooh. purposes only. Or not. <laughs> Stupid disclaimer. I could actually edit out the disclaimer on BitChute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that would take a lot of work. Yeah. So anyway. Um yeah, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube will have to be used um under new guidelines um that are regulated uh with public transparency. Yeah, the, what I'm getting from all that is that it's it's been a violation of free speech. It's yes. prohibiting free speech, and uh, that's that's the major stickler. And they have no right to to take free speech away from anyone. So it's happening. It's happening, baby. It's it's good. It's good. I'm just going through. 
You know when politicians and um, actors are wearing these masks and they're kind of coming off a little bit here and there, you know, where they, they're putting these masks on, yeah? Um, that is going to be, there's going to be a re revelation that is going to, somebody live is going to um, re reveal. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So that's going to be, that's going to be seen and exposed. Yeah. So, and that will, that, believe it or not, is going to have such a big change to anything it's like how can anybody prove that that person was there and that person was there so it's going to have a knock-on effect in both ways in a good way and a bad way it's like there's going to need to be a different way of exposing people you know it's like how do you know it was them here's another here's one related to that actually here's two uh, my next two predictions. Okay. A benevolent UFO sighting will happen during a major event. Could be something like the Super Bowl, the World Cup, something like that. It's going to happen, though, during a major event where thousands of people will take videos from every perceivable angle and will force official UFO disclosure from every nation. So you got the major UFO sighting and official disclosure. Bam, bam bam yeah oh yeah yeah this is good um each person that is seen to have been wearing the mask there's new technology coming out from ets that will that will be actually a um, big disclaimer going out et technology um about their intention so under new law it's going to be what was their intention were they told they had to do it under duress um you know and that's not just the mask wearing that's trafficking that's everything and um, what was their intention um were they forced to do whatever so yeah it's a new technology that they the ets have um and they'll be able to it's better than a lie detector basically because it's about frequencies and energies and um it's more than just lie detector So I had to I had to do a little FaceTime with Ali like three hours before. I I just missed you so much. Oh, here's something. Um I almost I'll, I'll show you in a sec here. I almost hang on. Okay. Oh, there's Danny in the chat. Hi, Danny. I almost went with a tuxedo. <laughs> oh, darling. And you can see that this was at 7, whoops, 726 p.m. this evening. Yeah. And I, I had it on. I just wanted to put, put a picture up there to show you that. I did have it on, but I thought, you know, three hours of having a tight shirt around my neck. No. Ah, but you could have stripped off slowly during the evening. I mean, that would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been good with that. And I, I said, screw it. It's New Year's Eve. I'm going to let my hair down. You know, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to have some fun. Have a few cocktails. Yeah. But Indeed. darling, Danny's in the chat. Danny Henderson. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. It's so good to Thank see you. Happy New Year. Oh, hmm? have you been? Oh, it's good. Life is I, life is getting so much better. I'm just so excited about about 2023. I can't tell you. It's been. It, it's just such a. There's a lift of vibrational energy. That's what I feel. Yeah, I it's it's a huge year. Um, anyone who's followed in 5D knows. You know, I've been writing about this and doing videos on it since 2008 about how Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008 yeah. stays there right through the end of 2023. But as we get closer to the end of that, we're seeing this truth vibration continue and more and more is getting exposed and whatever they try to pull on us is backfiring quicker and quicker and quicker. 
So it's yeah. gonna, like I said, yeah. this is gonna be an amazing year for everyone. And it's so much is gonna happen quickly. If you imagine yeah. free energy and what that's gonna do to the world, yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. Wow. So I was looking up the etymology of cocktail. Where did that word come from? Do we cocktail. want to know? <laughs> cocktail. <laughs> it's fun to say, cocktail. Only to Most you, people... you know, like man. <laughs> Most agree with the April 28th, 1803 article from the Farmer's Cabinet in Vermont, where to drink a cocktail was claimed to be excellent or the head. This is back in 1803. But certainly by 1806, the world was using its current meaning. And in the May 13th edition of that the newspaper Balance and Columbian Repository, the editor defined cocktail as a stimulating liquor composed of spirits of any kind, sugar, water, and bitters. According to Online Etymology Dictionary, the origin of cocktail is down to a mispronunciation of the fresh French word for egg cup, uh, cocadier, and pronounced in English as cocktail. Apparently, a New Orleans apothecary, an inventor of this certain type of bitters, served brandy with his bitters in egg cups in the late 18th century. So, cocktail, yeah, it's just fun to say. Here in the U.S., getting cocked and drinking are tied together, you know. People will say, everyone was cocked last night, or are you getting cocked tonight? It's the cock is always part of drinking here in the United States. Now, you guys don't say that in the UK, do you? A cocktail for us is um, a fruity drink with, with lots of alcohol in it and umbrellas and fruit dangling off it and, you know, Tropicana kind of energy. That's cocktails to us. So when right. Greg said cocktails, I was thinking, I can't imagine that he's going to come on drinking, you know, these big <laughs> this right. fruit and you know, it's glass and fruit like sticking out of my but, drink. You know, yeah. Whatever, whatever. But you guys don't say, I'm going to go get drunk. You don't say, I'm going to go get cocked. No. No, that's an American thing. Well, some people might in England, but I don't. Well, they would might mean it, literally. Well, yeah, they could. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just thought that was interesting. A uh, little thing about cocktails. Has anyone else got any predictions in the chat? Oh. Oh, see, you've got lots of love, Danny. Look, Deborah Harvey says, oh, Danny, I absolutely love you. I know you can't see this, but it, that's okay. Oh, she can now because I've just put it on the screen. Yeah, now. So, yeah, we do. We've got lots of respect. We loved being on your show, Danny. It was amazing. Yes, we did. And Disco Tina's in there. Tina. Hey, Tina. <laughs> um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give another prediction here. All right. Elon Musk's SpaceX Dear Moon mission will sadly prove how no one has ever traveled beyond the Van Allen belt and will expose the moon hoax that has been per perpetuated since 1969. NASA loses what little credibility it had remaining. Because Elon Musk has this thing that's, he's got a financier that, <coughs> I'm sorry, a financier who is wants to bring people to the moon but they won't they won't get there they won't be able to get there and that's going to expose everything i think elon musk is doing that intentionally to expose the the moon mission okay the fake fake moon mission this is for entertainment purposes only <laughs> but not really <laughs> i love that um what is it um oh arcana shores 
um, it's the it's the twins. It's the the brother and the sister, and she does readings like we do our global predictions and uh -huh. um, name lady. Um, they do that, and he always says this is for entertainment purposes, but not really. So I love that. I think that's great. <laughs> they're great. If anybody wants to see them, Arcana Shores. Um, they're lovely. They're really lovely people. So what do you have? Do you have some more predictions for us? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, so this new tech, I can't emphasize it enough, this new ET tech is going to change law. It's going to change policing because it's all about intention. If you imagine, you know, there's a lot of people who've got into situations where their family is at, at you know, gun to their head, sometimes literally, you do this or else this. But there's other people that could have changed um, their mind. They just wanted the greed and power. It's all to do with the intention. So I can't emphasize that enough. That's going to be huge. Um, med beds will be rolled out in every hospital, medical center. It's going to be urgency people first. So the people with a time, you know, um, it's, it's against time, you know, they're first. Um, pharmaceutical companies will be exposed um, on uh, mainstream media. Um, there is going to be other platforms, other channels that are going to be um, truth channels. Um, so new channels will start arising um, on the DV, on Sky and things like that. It's going to be new channels that are going to be um, the old school journalism. Um, and the old school journalism, the journalists are gonna be training these new journalists on how to actually do their job because they obviously don't know how to do their job. So that's all gonna go back. The, um, the pharmaceutical companies are gonna be sued so much um, that they're just gonna collapse um, and, and that'll be it. Then new will come. Um, and though these new ones will be mixed with herbal remedies and all different kind of patented um, things that have been suppressed, um, cures for all sorts of things like cancer because that's already been um, cured. There are cures out there already. Um, so all of that is going to be, but it is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, just to say that. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so these new journalists will be um, emerging um with old school um ethics basically so let's go back to basics um do you want me to continue yeah they'll have enter for entertainment purposes only ethics yeah the journalists yes yeah 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 um homing um there will be no more homeless and I feel that this may go from 2023, maybe a little bit over to 2024, um, but there will be no more homeless. Um, wow. There will be a, even if it's a room, but there will be a home for everyone. There will be no more homeless. Um, the money for all of this, it's coming out of um, the trafficking, the, the, everything being closed down, isn't it? The, the trafficking will be closed down. I'll go into that in a bit later. But all the money that went from there, that's all been confiscated. All the money from the Vatican, from the Queen, um, all of that, all those things are going back to the people. So that's where the money's coming from. Water will be free. Everyone on the planet will have access to fresh water. And again, I think that's 23, 24. Um, um, what was it? The cost of living will be an all time low. So it'll be really low. Um, back to, what do they say, 1940s? It's gonna be really low. So that it? might be in conjunction with the revaluation. Yeah. 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 Um, the tax system as we know it will fold um, and there'll be a new system put in place which is fair and affordable. Um, this will cover health care for everyone, 
no matter what, doesn't matter what country you are, there'll be um, healthcare will be covered. If you want faster healthcare or you want better healthcare, then that will be up to you. But if you want the basic healthcare, will be covered um, by every by everybody will have that. Um, I'm seeing towns and or in obviously over the world there'd be different you know you, what do you call them you call them not states but do you what do you call like you got states but what do you call the the little groups of places like we've got villages Cal and towns counties. what you got Cal counties. counties okay so imagine a county imagine there's going to be a space in every county that is growing their own fruit vegetables Oh, wow. produce and imagine that. that that is then shared um with the people that are manning it so anybody who likes gardening who wants to do that they will have their own things that will be given to them for their efforts okay with with that but there will then be a town it's like a market i'm seeing a market where people uh -huh. in the village or in the counties that come and you can then buy produce in in that um in that town locally grown and it will be um you know people who who make homemade things and so it's not just food it will be you know people who want to make things people who you know are thinking of new ideas you know on how to um you know household stuff things like that new inventions even so that's going to be in the in the towns so yeah, so they're just going to work together and obviously if there's one village that's got an excess of more things they'll be bartering back and forth um as well people will be encouraged to buy locally that will be the new thing do you want to do any more? No? Um, there'll be an overhaul in meat industry. There may be, this is not going to be great for everybody, but there may be less meat. But it's going to be humane. Um, the whole thing is going to be changed. There'll be more, um, again, I feel it's going to go to the counties and it's going to go back to local farmers who deal with their own animals and it will be strictly reg reg regulated as well there will be a, a new regulation system that will check um, to make sure that they are doing everything humanely the animals you know there'll be no more of these chicken farms um, that are absolutely diabolical or pig farms or you know we've all heard about them there'll be none of that 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 will be absolutely banned um, and there'll be high penalties for anybody doing any of that. Do you want me to carry on? Carry on. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, I'm seeing... <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing also um, that there is, um, it's like a general, um, not a, a rule or a law, but it's like a humane, um, I don't want to call it a law, but it's like a knowing, okay, that all the way around the world, this humane, um, meat industry and to do with people it's all going to be and there's going to be a huge overhaul this may also go on 23 24 just what i mean so this isn't going to happen overnight but i i do see that that's where the world is going um and the leaders will be proper leaders that will be um actually you know the voting system is all going to change so i think the voting system is going to go smaller so it's going to be towns, counties, um, and then, you know, 
um, further and it's going to be paper ballots I do feel it's not going to be any of this anymore um, you know so there's no system they can't they can't do that what they've done before so here's a prediction I predict Ali will come to the US this summer <laughs> yeah I'm coming yeah I will be there Gloria predicts that you will give us more, predi <laughs> more predictions you are 100% yeah. correct you are yeah yeah Susan yeah we buy our meat from a local farmer and the local meat market and we believe in supporting our local people with, with big that, that, that's a great question yeah. for like but like um Tuesday nights global predictions we're not doing the global predictions tonight so but if you want to ask us that on Tuesday yeah we'll we'll look into that then yeah love your prediction for Allie yeah um this news about big pharma good hi Tamara tomorrow there will be um big time I'm afraid fertility issues it's going to skyrocket with fertility issues with people finding it difficult to yeah. um, conceive. I'm sorry. Yeah. There will be a ban on late abortions as well, unless there are big medical issues. So all this, all these places where you nearly, you can nearly go full term and then abort. That that there's none of that. It's all that's going to be like a global law. Does that make sense? It's going globally, you know, to do with being humane. Um, trafficking um, will be known, okay? It will be very much out there, um, mainstream media. Uh, the mainstream media is slowly being taken over, I feel, by the White Hats anyway. Um, and it's it's getting better and better. If you look at it through certain eyes, watch, it's it's just going slowly. So um, it will they will be talking about the trafficking. It will be known, um, and it will have the highest penalty. And I do think it will be the death penalty. Anything to do with trafficking. I mean, here in England, that's like a jaw dropping thing because we don't have death penalty here. But I do think it will be anything to do with children um, and, you know, slavery of any kind. That will also be um, that will be no more. Um, you, you go now. You go now. Well, I, I actually have something similar to that. Um, this is going to be interesting. Uh, this is three wrapped into one and it's tied into what Ali just said mass arrests of the pedos begins on the mainstream media this is for entertainment purposes only the impetus of this is once again twitter and explains why many blue checked celebrities hate donald trump who is also trying to expose them you're going to start seeing hollywood celebrities vacation in countries where they would be safe from extradition mm, yeah. for these crimes. And that includes places like Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Tunisia, and Ukraine. Mm. Lastly, the celebrities will be faking their deaths in order to escape the mass arrests. Yeah. I think that's already started, love. I do think because they are they are running scared they're running scared mm -hmm. for entertainment purposes only folks yeah um i've picked this up for years but there will be a questionnaire that will be given to everybody 16 plus um and the questionnaire will be how do you want your health care run how do you want schooling and education run? How do you want your food industry and your farming uh, run? I like that idea. And that will be then accumulated into villages and counties, and then it will be then accumulated world 
worldwide, you know, globally, countries, just it's just going to go. So it's like the whole, um, it, the, the, the worldwide thing is going to take a lot longer. It really will. But I'm seeing that the, um, the core countries, the main countries that are more awake and aware, um, the third world countries, it's going to take a hell of a lot longer. But there's going to be, imagine if you've got um, proper um, good people running the country and how that will start to change when you don't have corruption. Um, and imagine them using money for their people because it's going to be ruled, rules and regulations. So what we're seeing now, and we think that could never happen, it's, it's going to be very different when we start to get rid of the corruption. Um, they're not going to stay third world countries. Um, so you will be given the questionnaire and then they'll be they'll give you a certain amount of time for you to do your own research so that you're not kind of having to just answer questions without really knowing so you'll do your own research um the, the voting here's a, here's, system. Here's a prediction for 2024 the history books will be rewritten yeah Oh yeah, yep. Um, voting will be not able to be uh, manipulated. I feel that it's going to be a new quantum system in place. Um, I believe that anybody with a low income will have um, a set amount of money for food. Food will be, there'll be, it's like in every supermarket, you'll have a card. That card will say that you have 50 pounds um, 60 pound or something I don't know how much I'm just like, putting it out there um, for a basic food shop if you have more than that then you pay them all um, but if, that's where I'm seeing there'll be free um, it'll be food water um, it's a god-given right to have food and water on this planet Alternative education is going to be um, supported rather than um, hindered because at the moment if you are home educating your child you have to pay an extortionate lot of money to get um, to get the um, exams or anything like that and you don't get any utensils. The mums um, or the fathers, they are penalised, um, they are told that they've got to get out and work so they don't take into consideration the fact that they are actually homeschooling and that is their job um so i believe that that's all going to be supported and you will have an income for doing that as well if that is what you choose to do normal schools will be rethought and um, the children i think they're going to listen to the children i think the, the, the you know children like to play learn so there's going to be a lot more of that in schools, there will there will be more of woodwork, cooking, um, how to budget, um, how to start a business, how to support your family if they choose to have one. Um, it's, it's all the basic um, living, you know, in this in this world. Um, so a lot of that is going to be taught then in schools and encouraged to be taught in schools rather than um, all the other crap that they're trying to they, teach. They should teach prepping in school yes yep for entertainment purposes only yeah children who help their communities friends family i'm seeing them being given like a privilege card or something like that where these children because they've done a lot to support their community they can like go to the cinema for nothing they can go to get reduced money on things um there's going to be something like that in place as well to encourage children to actually support their community and you know to, to do to do that so they're so not like a theater could out. donate uh, tickets or something like that yeah. for incentive and motivation that's beautiful yeah yeah, yeah. i really like that apprenticeships are going to be back um and um 
education, you know, apprenticeships, you know, for the children, the children that want to leave school early and do um, apprenticeships rather than go to college or university, they can. They can just decide they, they want to be a mechanic and, you know, these garages are going to open up and say, okay, then we can take on two, two students. Um, and obviously the, the state gives them a wage. Um, the garage is encouraged to teach them. Um, so it's a win-win for the garage. It's a win-win for, um, for them as well. So go back to basics with the apprenticeships. You do something now. I don't have a lot left. Um, because many of mine are bundled together. Um, there will be other cryptocurrencies similar to FTX that Sam Bankman fraud dude um, exposed. Those who remain standing, the cryptocurrencies that remain standing will drop in value temporarily but like silver will grow exponentially when the dollar officially dies. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm just so excited about 2023. It's just like, it's amazing. It's amazing. But I am, I do know that we're going to have a lot of shocks. Um, you know, I do feel as if there will be a lot of people passing. Um, I, you know, not as many as they've predicted, but I can still see that. Um, yeah, but I do see that the med beds are going to try and, you know, solve some of those issues. Mm. One of the key words for 2023 is spirituality. Yeah, I see legal complications arise this year for the Roman Catholic Church. And it's not just involved with pedos. We'll also see money laundering charges arise for the RCC, Roman Catholic Church. This will be the beginning of the end for them. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I this is not what I've written down or anything. But the Catholic Church, I don't think, is going to fold. And I don't think Christianity is going to fold. I think it's just going to be redone. Um, because I feel that if you take all of that away from people, um, especially mm -hmm. suddenly, there'll be less and less people following that. But I still feel as if there will be an over overhaul. I know how you feel about it, but yeah. So okay, what else you yeah. got? I only have five left, and they're all tied together. I've only got that many, really. Um, we got anybody caring for a family member will have a decent wage as well. Like I said, carers are going to be highly paid, um, and it will be encouraged that a family member days to look after their elderly parents or elderly family members it will be encouraged and there'll also be a lot of support as well so if they need time off there will be people that come in and give them a set time off you know so um, there's going to be a lot of that support um, but keeping the you know the uh, parents and looking after the families in their homes and supporting them Uh, mums and dads will receive a wage um, to educate their children. So if they want to stay at home and they want to look after the children, then they will receive a wage. That's awesome. I'm seeing a lot more of liaison officers as well, where you can literally just go to a website and talk to somebody instead of having to phone up and wait to be put on hold, on hold, on hold. There will be, you know, you type out your question and then somebody comes back and answers, basically. There's going to be a lot more of liaison. So if you've got any questions or anything um, about anything that you feel that you um, need support with, there's going to be a lot more of that. Debt forgiveness. 
I can see debt forgiveness. Definitely saw that. Have you seen that? Uh, that's not one of my predictions. Okay. No. Okay. If there is just a small link to anyone linked to trafficking, they will be dealt with severely. Anyone who has, um, it's like there'll be no more trafficking sites either. So you know where you would report, um, you know, like a, like on Facebook, a friend of mine reported um, a, one of the bad pages. They, they, it was to do with them, um, pornography. It was, it was like it was child pornography, and Facebook didn't take it down. They didn't take it down. That that I'm sure what you're talking about would include people who are aware of like Hollywood celebrities are aware of certain things that are yeah. going on but aren't saying anything about it. Yeah. They're still going to be held accountable. They're going to be held accountable, like Facebook held accountable mm -hmm. um, because they, they know about it and they haven't done anything about it. So right. anybody who is linked to it, it will have severe penalties against them. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I think Amazon is going to be um, going to be partly a charity. I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, I feel that um, it's there's going to be a lot of arrests, and I think there's going to be it's going to be around there. The top people, I feel, um, in okay. all of these places, is going to be arrested which will then, what will happen to that? People need this. What do we do about it? If we take this away from people, you know, people need it. So um, I feel it's just gonna be changed over and then maybe then um, you can get shares in it. So that's, I think it's gonna be like a cooperative. A lot of the place is gonna be cooperatives. Oh, that's um, awesome, yeah. I've only got about three more, so you go next. All right, this is this is my last five. <clears throat> this is uh, pretty big. Um, Joe Biden resigns over health issues, but it's not really his health issues, although his health is reclining. The re real reason he's resigning is because of Hunter's laptop Kamala Harris temporarily steps in, but that ends relatively quickly because of the voter trickery <laughs> from the previous election will be fully disclosed through the Twitter files once again. So that that's going to bring Kamala out. The, in, um, Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, becomes the interim president as a new election is held. A lot of people think that, oh, it's going to be Trump. Trump nuts. Trump's not going to take that position, Speaker of the House. A lot of people are saying that, and that's not, that's not what's going to happen. Um, massive voter Beep. trickery <laughs> once again occurs, but it's not enough to hold off. Donald Trump in this special election, who wins, but not by the landslide that was expected. And I know that our tarot card said otherwise this past Tuesday, but this is my personal prediction. So I'm going against what the tarot said. Say that last bit again. Massive trickery once again occurs, but it's not enough to hold off Donald Trump, who wins, but not by a landslide that was expected. Well, even after all of the fraud, all of the um, they're still going to they're still going to be doing trickery, and they're still going to oh. yep, but it's not going to be enough. They won't get away with it fully. And that'll give a chance to expose the rest of that. But yeah, they're mm -hmm. still going to cheat. 
and it's still not going to be enough. Trump will okay. be reinstated. That's love what I got. That. I love, love, love that. New food investigators will be checking on the food industry. Brand new. Um, huge punishments will be put into play should they be caught with tampering. That will be suspected murder because if you're putting things into food that could potentially kill people, it's suspected murder that will have that penalty. Um, travel will somehow be faster and easier. There's something brought in that will mean that it is easier and faster. Awesome. Seeing some sort of strange happenings in the water. Um, I feel as if there's going to be um, seeing some, um, I know that you can already, there's already stuff out there about UFOs over the sea, but there's going to be something that is, um, you cannot, um, you cannot explain it. it it's going to be seen by too many people um, about these underwater villages basically there's going to be is it's ufo exposure big time and it will be seen um i think uh, i say apart from i don't know whether it says one or not but in mainstream media there will be talk about cannibalism wow mainstream media you're going to start to see yeah. that where one person will be done for it, it will then there'll be more and more people starting to talk about it. Then, because this is the white hats, remember that are drip feeding you information so that you, um, not you, because you guys are awake and aware, but a lot of people that are not is going to be starting to say it's going to be the shock, and then it will be just drip, 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 um, all what's going on. So yeah, I think that's it. I think I've got I've got three more. Okay. All right, I'm looking at this, trying to figure out how I'm gonna tippy toe around it. The Twitter files expose the C nineteen yeah so badly that it becomes the harbinger for mass arrests including bill gates dr fauci and hundreds of other people in politics and the science field even the mainstream media cannot escape exposing this mm. yeah i can see that fauci and gates are getting arrested this year, and this is for entertainment purposes only. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, my mom's got a couple. Okay. I sent Phil a link on, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh. So we'll see if he. Um, oh, yeah, what's your mom's got for us? She says in the UK, we're going to start using local school buses. We don't have that in the UK. Oh. Yeah, so it's going to be that. Also, there's going to be more cottage hospitals. So that's local little hospitals where people can convalesce. So instead of them being in the hospital taking up beds, they're going to be convalescing in, um, in a cottage hospital. Um, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Mom. And hi, Mom. <laughs> you know you're watching. You're not watching right now, but you're watching. Happy she was New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah. Happy New Year's yeah. Day, because we know it's, it's daytime by the time she finally sees this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Now we should go back and read some of these messages because a lot of people's asking things 
as we were talking. So if we need to oh, go back. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that. Hmm. You can be the official scroller and highlighter. All righty. Okay, how far do we go back? I got to say, you look amazingly beautiful. Thank you. You do. You look freaking hot. Oh, so do you. Yum. Yummy. Hi, Trisha. Good to see you. Okay. Oh, so Trisha's had um, a strike as well. She's got a strike the other week for inciting violence and bullying. Um, seems to be the latest thing. Crazy. Oh, my God. They're just how, trying how to old take was that video? My, my video was two years old. How old was the video they got you for? Yeah. Ah, oh, so um, Marejo said, anything on Yellowstone Park? I didn't get anything, but I could tune in. Does anybody else want to tune in on that one? What do you predict? I want you guys to uh, do it. Yeah, we, we could we can look into that, like on Global Predictions. Or we could, I guess we could do some of those tonight if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'll let Jody say the airports are continually changing their north south lines okay yes thank you that and it's gonna that it's all tied into the gps and the and the current pole shift it is there the, the, we're, we're moving just a little every year but it's becoming that little every year it's become enough where they have to realign the gps systems somehow so giovanna um says i believe this year is a big big awakenings yeah for everyone even the sleepers it's all happening this year the end of the old old and the beginning of the new our community will flourish uh, with a with such big positive vibes i agree with you I do agree with you. Hello, Elizabeth. Oh, look. Silver prediction gave Deborah goosebumps. Yeah, that's your truth. That means it's the truth. $100 yeah. announced by the end of next year, plus or more. Yep. They're deliberately keeping it low. I got told that. They're deliberately keeping it low so that people can... Um, buy the silver yeah it's gone up in a month it's gone up four to five dollars an ounce in a month so keep keep on it you know keep on it you perhaps you need yep. to get it quick yeah entertainment of purposes only of course deborah and this is not financial <laughs> advice yeah okay so I'm going back down again now, so I think I've got this far down. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so what about other countries and cocktails? Cocktails in Australia can also be canopies. Okay. People here would say, let's go out for a couple cocktails or do you want to come over for some cocktails? It's a social thing. Okay. It's more of a, it could be any kind of mixed drink. Cocktails could could include beer, you know, any kind of alcohol. It's basically cocktails. So more information about AI coming out and cloning. I do believe that there, there will be, people will know about cloning. That was coming out, yeah. Spring twenty three. Yep. Wouldn't surprise me if the Twitter files somehow exposed that as well. <laughs> you 
can have a cock up in Britain. <laughs> I haven't heard of it, but <laughs> yeah, a cock up, a cock up in Britain. <laughs> I shouldn't drink and make comments. But no, Why? I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> not going Why there. Not? No. Not going there. Nope. <laughs> this is a, this is taking me a while because obviously I'm having to read every comment. So, yeah. Uh, Trisha said that her video was recent. Okay. So, yeah, they didn't go back a couple of years on hers. And I bet you didn't even mention anything that could be perceived as that. But yeah, just Trisha, go to uh, Team YouTube, at Team YouTube, and just tell them, this is what I told them. I said I received a strike on my video. I gave a link to the video, which you can find that link in your YouTube studio. And I, I gave the name of it. And I said, your automated, your automated system quickly denied my appeal. Could you please have a human review it? Thank you. So apparently somebody's reviewing it right now. I haven't gotten an answer back yet, but it's worth giving it a shot. Yeah. Free energy. When will that be a reality? I have it this year in my predictions yeah that'll that let me see if I, I can go back to that part okay yeah that that was my big one that was the nine first nine that i had <laughs> I'll I'll just re reiterate. Now this I can one. see that. Mia. Um. Yeah, the U U.S. dollar officially dies. It actually died in 2012 when the Fed's charter was never renewed. There's increasing pressure from BRICS to go to a gold-backed currency. Saudi Arabia and China left the U.S. dollar, and that begins the stock stock market crash, as investors lose faith in the U.S. dollar. Expect to see at least $100 or more an ounce of silver by the end of the year. All of this forces the U.S. to go to a silver gold backed currency. Revaluation of currency brings oil prices down significantly. And it, I'm sorry, it brings all prices down significantly, including car and home prices. This is the proverbial death of the United States as we know it. But through this death, the U.S. has an immediate rebirth as the Phoenix rises from the ashes, directly in correlation with the Twitter files and all of the corruption they, they expose. Because of this exposed corruption, suppressed inventions will begin to surface, beginning with free energy. It's happening. That'll be the first one. Have you noticed my screen's not doing that thing? yeah like it was doing yeah. on zoom so it's not doing it on stream yard so it's only yeah. for foreigners on zoom yeah yeah so Americans something's going on yeah yeah i've been i've been having real big issues on um on zoom i've been fading in and out it's been really bizarre yeah trisha make sure yeah, my, my appeal got turned down instantly, but make sure you have a human turn it down or at least look it over, right? That's why you want to go to um, Twitter and at Team YouTube. Go to, you know, at Team YouTube on Twitter and ask for a human to uh, review it. Got nothing to lose, right? Nope. 
So that's what's been happening to my screen on Zoom. Yeah. I'm going like that. Yeah. I was I was thinking to myself, oh my god, that's you know if that happens here, it's going to freak people out. Look, I was even fading completely out. I'm so, are we the only ones having cocktails tonight? Is anyone else having a cocktail with us? Yeah. Would you like to suck my cocktail? <laughs> I knew you were gonna go there. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? You you, <laughs> you don't want to suck my cocktail? Uh, no, I don't fancy your um your your drink. No. Okay. I'm not gonna say anymore. I believe, <laughs> I believe the benevolent ETs will be providing the homeless with rooms on their spaceships until more permanent housing is found and made. I don't know if they'll be right out there as much as that, but you never know. You don't know, do you? You don't know. New pension schemes, early retirement. I like that, Mia. I can see that. Oh, my. So, Melissa says her mom and I are having cocktails. Yeah. I'm sorry if I, if I said an inappropriate cocktail joke in front of your mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh let's see susan says i have room in the and uh, for a big garden on my property and i wouldn't mind if someone came in and worked on it see i think a lot more of that can happen yeah we won't be slaves on nine to five jobs anymore we won't not with free energy no who is going to make all this happen Sorry, sorry. You wanted to put the other thing up, couldn't you? I'll have what he's having. <laughs> <laughs> he's on Kahlua, isn't it? Kahlua, vodka. Pepper, peppermint, Kahlua, vodka, and milk. Yep, and it's just about empty. A big no, really. 32 ounce cup. Yeah, yummy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> mom, mom is no saint. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think we're nearly caught up with everybody, really. But if anybody yeah, wants to ask anything now, please say, you know, please let us know. Yeah. yeah i can't wait for celebrities to start being um publicly arrested can't wait for that i got Line i a. got a little tarot trivia that i, I want to put out there for everyone okay well tarot trivia okay. Okay. okay so the original tarot was never designed as a fortune telling tool it originated from a card game called i'm not going to say it because i know do you want everyone else to guess yeah yeah because i know you know do you know the card name that the card game that the name tarot came from does anyone know that hey brian i was just on the phone with him before that's why i was running a little oh. late we talked until Aww. two minutes before nine. <laughs> Blackjack. <laughs> That's funny. The the name of the here, I'll put it I'll put it in the chat. The name of the game was called Tarochi and dates back to the 15th century. The earliest evidence of tarot being used for divination wasn't until three centuries later in the 18th century. Mm. Okay, so 
here's a, another you know that you know this one i'm sure so i'll put it out there which tarot for everyone else which tarot card represents aquarius i don't know all of those you don't no take no. a guess then no i wouldn't know unless it's um the temperance because of the water could it be that we got a winner here right here giovanni the star okay the water bearer right right uh the rider waits smith uh star tarot card number 17 depicts a naked maiden with one foot on the earth and the other foot in a body of water in each hand she holds an overturned jug from which the water flows to the earth below an ancient symbol for the zodiac sign of aquarius the water bearer okay here's here's a question i i i don't i wouldn't have known the one, answer to this we'll be back in one minute darling i'm gonna go and get my pain relief okay okay in one minute well i'll put this out to everyone uh else anyway which four archangels appear in the major arcana tarot trivia which four archangels appear in the major arcana that would be a good guess it would put, that it would have something to do with the yes michael is one yep Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael. Very good. Karen, good job. Yes. Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael. Good job. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to... Everybody has a tarot card assigned to their birthday. So, and basically, it's your life path number. So mine, mine's a life path nine, which nine in the tarot is the hermit, which is perfect for me because I'm an introvert. Um, so, and Allie is three. She's the empress, you know, creator, mother, nurturer. So all you have to do is figure out your birthday, uh, your birth number, your life path number. So let's say hypothetically <clears throat> you're born on... January 1st, 2000, right? So that's going to be easy. Two plus one plus one, that's a four. Your life path would be uh, a four. So what you want to do is look at what your life path number is and then take a look at the major arcana. Let me see if I can get a screenshot of this. Well, that's too big. I don't want that one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do it this way. So, and then maybe I'll help some of you out with this too. Here. Screen share. Okay, so let's go back. So Von Craig is a five, the Hierophant, very good. Uh, Jody is a, a one, which would be the Magician. Okay, so that's card. Uh, Laura is a two, and that would be High Priestess. So Mia, you would be the higher hierophant as well as, as a nine. And Susan, eight strength. Uh, Melissa's a six. So you'd be the lovers. So that the 22 would break down to, well, I guess you could be two of them actually. 
Um, no, yeah, it's not getting, uh, no, it couldn't be because the uh, major arcana only goes to 21. So two plus two would be four. So you'd be the emperor for the 22. Yeah. Uh, 11. Actually, the 11 could be two. You'd be justice plus the one plus one would be the high priestess. So you'd actually have two cards, justice and high priestess with 11. But yeah, that's that's how you figure out what tarot card you have associated with you. And you might want to look into the the meaning of that tarot card. And, you know, that's that number has significance for you. I was looking at some imponderables. These are just like questions that, you know, you think, why, why isn't ever, anyone ever asks these questions? Or why, why are these things the way they are? And here's one of them. <clears throat> here's some of them. How come abbreviated is such a long word? Before they invented drawing boards, what did they go back to? Let's go back to the... I don't know. If a man is standing in the middle of a forest speaking and there's no woman around to hear him, is he still wrong? Probably. If a parsley farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? If it's zero degrees outside today and it's supposed to be twice as cold tomorrow, how cold is it going to be? If love is blind, why is lingerie so popular? If the police arrest a mime, do they tell him he has the right to remain silent? If you ate pasta and antipasta, would you still be hungry? If you choke a smurf, what color does it turn? If you try to fail and succeed, what have you done? What was the best thing before sliced bread? Here's some trivia, though. This is fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll put it out there for everyone. What is the only edible food that never goes bad? No idea. A hamburger, like a, a McDonald's hamburger? <laughs> Giovanni's on, on fire. Honey, you are correct, Giovanna. Honey, 100% correct. All right, what are the names of Cinderella's stepsisters? Mm. It's been a while. I didn't know, yeah, don't know now. It's probably been 24 years since I wrote, read Cinderella to Brittany, or she read it to me. Oh, Drusilla, yeah, that's one of them. Drusilla, yeah. One mm -hmm. other. <laughs> Ugly. Mean and meaner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love it. Twinkies. Okay. The other one was Anastasia. Was it really? I didn't know that. Anastasia and Drizella. The unicorn is the national animal of which country? The unicorn is what is the national animal of which country? We have a winner, Scotland. Really? Yeah. Well, that's shocking. In in the state, in the state of Georgia, here in the United States, it, it's illegal to eat what 
with a fork. What is it illegal to eat with a fork in Georgia? Take a wild guess. Haggis? No. <laughs> Crow. Ribs. Oh, we're getting closer with the ribs. <clears throat> Peaches, pizza. Think Southern. Oh, we're right there. Gypsy JJ got it. That is true. It's it's illegal in Georgia to eat fried chicken with a fork. Oh, Georgia. <laughs> I thought you were yeah. talking about Scotland. I'm sorry. Here's Megan, a good one. Megan said, oh, oh my dear, and I'm from Georgia. In French vineyards, what is prohibited? What is prohibited in French vineyards? Hmm. I'll be surprised if anyone gets this. Don't know. sex <laughs> that's that's a, that was a good guess good guess but that's not it italian wine <laughs> <laughs> your your own wine <laughs> uh, i love the answers you guys you guys rock sex another one yeah all right so too. in french vineyards Flying saucers are prohibited. What? Exactly. What was the natural hair color of Marilyn Monroe? Uh, dark brown. No. 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 She wasn't ginger, was she? She ginger. Giovanna. Got it again, redhead. Was she? Yeah. I wonder if she was from Lyra, you know, the birthplace of humanity. That's where all these redheads came from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Wow. Honestly thought she was brown haired or dark haired. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. That was mm. fun. Just a little trivia yeah. stuff. I was trying to look for this, um, it's like a past lives thing on, on different, um, your birth signs, your astrology sign. Mm -hmm. um, I can't find it. And I'm in oh. my back to it, so I can't find it. But I will look for it for another um, of our um, Yeah, late nights, we can do yeah. that on Greg and Allie Live or something. Yeah, 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 I will. I've probably done it once already, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, what's the time over there? 10.39. 10.39. Okay. They killed her. They did. Yes, they did. Here's, here's a little trivia on farts. <laughs> I did not know this. You might want to think about this the next time we fall asleep in, together in the same room next to each other. More than 99% of the gas that people pass consists of just nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane. People pass more gas when they are asleep. The word fart comes from the old English word fjorten, which means to break wind. So just something to think about when you fall asleep ahead of your your partner or lover. Or you might be ripping them and nobody That's else would know. That's so embarrassing. How would you know? You're sleeping. Because somebody like you would tell me. Oh, no, not just that. I'd record it. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. 
there's no escaping that if it's in your sleep, right? No. You can't exactly clench your buttocks, can you? No. No, it just happens. Oh, no night, Mia. So you guys must have loads of kind of celebrations going off all over. It's like a ripple effect, isn't it? After one hour, then another one, another one, another one. I've you've been got hearing. Time. I've been hearing fireworks here in Florida for probably since yes, you know, as soon as it got dark. Mm. There's been not many fireworks. Five thirty-six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, there's been not many here. Hmm. So Phil's here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Let's <laughs> bring him in. There he is. Hey. Hi. Hey, dude. Hello. Happy New Year's. Yeah, Happy New Year's. 2023, the year of the uh, chariot of swiftness to come. Starting oh. off with strength in the first they, month. They, they thought they could keep you off YouTube, but here you are. <laughs> one way yeah. or another yeah suck, oh my God. suck it youtube <laughs> for entertainment yeah. purposes only <laughs> yeah well i'd like to do something to him but i won't say what <laughs> it might involve the ray gun <laughs> <laughs> So Phil's got some predictions for us. Well, um, oh, you want me to go right into predictions? Oh, right well, no, you don't have to. Okay. Oh, yeah. I will have to think on this just a little bit. Or actually, I have to ask Shala to come through here and see if she can help me on this. That would be great. Yeah. There's a few things that we didn't cover. Um we didn't cover about the uh, the clones, whether or not that's going to come out, although I feel it will. But um, what was the other thing? Somebody asked about it, and we hadn't brought that through. Yeah, is right. there anything we have covered that we could ask um, maybe Phil with the channeling? Let us know if there's anything me and Greg haven't covered. Yeah. Although we covered a lot. <laughs> Yes, we have. Well, I'm sorry I missed it. Um, all right. Yeah. Today, Shantana, Shampata, I guess. We are here, and we are happy to be here on this new year that you are celebrating. We are ready for your questions. Okay. So what good news can you tell us about um, 2023? How, are the, how is the world going to change? Well, as you may or may not have known, um, the world is moving, has actually moved, into fourth density or a vibration in correlation to fourth density, we would say. Yeah. Or with this uh, change, we will see an increase in your abilities to discern the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be an increase in your intuition. For those that, of you that are exploring that, or wish to explore that, um, this year will bring um, higher vibrations. And that um, in the new year, you will be able to manifest much more easily than you have in the past. Uh, of course, this will involve coming from the heart of love, as we have always advised you to drop into your heart and use that dynamo 
to empower your dreams. Uh, there will be big changes. Um, you will definitely see them by the month of May. Um, we would say they are of a political nature. Although we do not like to do name calling. Okay. For the rest of the year, there will be a lot of adjustment to this new um, political system, we would say, or a restructure of your society for sure. Yep. Um, this is going to be a strong movement through the month of March into Aquarius. That's the first ingress of the dwarf planet uh, Pluto, as you have, are now calling it. Um, though there are many other Kuiper Belt elements there that are larger than Pluto, we would have to say. I'm sorry to say. Um, they, with this ingress, you will see the first uh, loosening of the controls. And we would predict out into 2024 um, a total collapse of any kind of control structure. In the age mm -hmm. of Aquarius, you will be individually sovereign and need to have responsibility for self paramount. Mm -hmm. This is what we see as a possible and probable uh, timeline for humanity. Wow. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Will there be any uh, any health um, benefits from off-worlders? Um, we will be in the skies um, as we are now when you come out and ask for us to uh, uncloak ourselves, we would call that, um, <laughs> or drop down in the vibration to which you can see. Uh, but we will not actually be, uh, we are working with uh, certain members of your um, space force, mm -hmm. as I believe you call this uh, entity, uh, that uh, they are being given um, the technology of the healing pods that we use here on Sirius B and Sirius A now. Um, there are Syrian light ships um, working patrol around your planet to keep away the dark ones or yep. the dark O as they are referred to in your uh, world. So many great things are happening around and in your world. Your world mm -hmm. is evolving and um, your galactic brothers and sisters are here uh, sending their support and their love down to the planet in order to raise the vibration of the population. So call on us uh, whenever you feel the need. Oh, that's wonderful. I have a question in the chat. People want to know about will there be social credit scores coming? This is the um, desire of those that wish to control. Uh, this is a strong desire in them, and it really will depend on the equally stronger um, compulsion within the population as a whole that they do not want uh, these social scores. And it would be important to 
resist the um, central bank uh, digital coins um, because that is what will bring in uh, this social score system. So we would say resist and look to what you want to have rather than what to what you do not want to have. You are very powerful beings of creation, co-creators, we would say. And what you focus on is normally what you're going to get. Always what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this, we would say, is the most important thing, is to focus on freedom and truth and yes. not on censorship, uh, which this one has been focusing on a little bit too much, we would say. But yeah. he's trying to do better. Uh, we know he is trying. Yeah. Is there anything? Is there anything? Um, go ahead. That's okay. Is there anything going on with Yellowstone that we need to be aware of? Yes, you need to be aware to send love and healing to Yellowstone. Um, it's become uh, that which has been waiting for a long time to blast off. But it doesn't have to. Um, the more calm and cool thoughts that are sent towards it, uh, the less likely that it is. Uh, we would say the only period where this may be a concern would be if there is a micronova of your son, which um, could be a possibility in the year 25, 2025 or 2026. It is a possibility, uh, not a probability, we would say. But um, if there is a micronova, the blast off of Yellowstone will be a minor um, concern, I would say. Mm -hmm. I have a question here. Um, Regarding cancer, is there any you know, cures that will be disclosed this year? Um, when you say this year, we are still in the year 2020. So are you speaking of this year or? Upcoming in 2023 and beyond. 2023. Um, we would say there is a, of course, uh, this is all uh, dependent on whether uh, these, uh, we feel there is a window uh, when uh, the healing pods or healing beds uh, would come out in which uh, this would bring such a cure as you speak of, of, the, of the cancers. Uh, mm. The most important thing uh, we would say about uh, cancers is removing sugar from your diet and uh, taking in the vitamin 17, B17, I believe it is, okay. or E17, we're sorry. It is a product that you have on your planet that actually has been suppressed. Um, we would see that this is more likely to come out in uh, 2024 or possibly 2025. Uh, most assuredly by 2026, um, the cancer will be um, a thing that can be healed uh, w without chemotherapy and radiation or a different, let us say, a different kind of radiation. Uh, this would be more along the uh, lines of what uh, Tesla was doing, you know, with his um, his high voltage uh, systems. So, indeed, there are systems on your planet that would uh, perfectly heal uh, the cancers that you have at this time. Mm 
they have some been suppressed though and we would say that uh suppression um will end in 2024. okay Greg, you tell i'm sorry we, oh we yeah we're just doing it I'm gen gently just kind of getting into the vibe of everything that's going on sorry phil carry on right so um it will come in uh, about uh, mid mid-year we believe there's a high prob probability of this and uh we are quite uh hopeful for it and we will say of all of these uh that we have predicted that these are uh probabilities and not set in stone there is nothing that anyone can predict that is set in stone so if you find something within what we say that does not resonate with you then don't adopt it go a different way go the way of your soul and your heart and, that's and it's for entertainment purposes only too yeah <laughs> yes we we if you feel the need to say this yes it will be for your entertainment unfortunately <clears throat> we have to yes we could we could um bring this quicker could we if we um if we put it that into our affirmations um the cure for cancer could we bring this in quicker yes yeah indeed okay um and and this is a a thing to share far and wide uh, yeah. that uh we have far more control uh, than or we would say well indeed we have control over our own selves mm. as you have your control over your selves uh, i am sorry yeah. i have started to adopt uh, this body as my own i'm sorry i will back off a little bit here and uh, let bill come back a little bit and oh so thank you so much for coming to talk yeah. to us thank okay, you so definitely. much yeah. It's wonderful. I am still here. I just um, retreated it back to let him have his own identity again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, now that um, he has risen again, uh, we, will, we will proceed again. Thank you okay i could feel you going deeper phil yeah so yeah okay um yeah, yeah so gloria said who's your guide and where's the information coming from well, well this information is um adapted from uh, what we glean as we tap into your collective unconscious um we also mm -hmm. glean this from the consciousness of the earth and what it is that she desires uh, for you you live on a living planet um yes if you cannot see that i do not know what to tell you uh you also yeah. live in a living solar system every planet within your system is living in the sense that it has a conscious of itself a cohesion if mm. you will so working with mm. uh, the earth uh, you can make miraculous changes um, by a, even a small number of people gathering together um, there yes. is a prayer by the one known as Yeshua that says as two or three of you more of you gather in one place in my name um you will have me there with great power and that is true whether yes. you invoke uh, the uh, jesus christ or whether you just invoke your own higher self the age yes. women, and bring in all your friends um who can agree with your um affirmation so group affirmations we say will be very powerful individual uh, affirmations are powerful for your own transformation and healing 
So we would definitely uh, enjoy you to uh, be an affirmation about a positive future for your life. Um, seeing that uh, these it's things that you, Yes, go ahead. This really resonates with me. So when uh, Greg and I meet um, on our, um, our lives, we could do a collective affirmation at the end that everybody could join in. Sure. Indeed, this would be uh, very good, we would say. We would be yeah. most happy to join in with this affirmation of a positive future. Yeah. Um, free of censorship, uh, free of suppression. Yes. Janice on Facebook saying, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, the Freemasons actually, poorly, yes. The Freemasons have a prayer. It's almost identical to my fraternity's prayer, but they say, when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou will be in thy midst and bless them. Because they Indeed. always up with it though don't they they well, no that's just about in, positive that's no different than what we're, we're talking about it's about putting you can use it for the good you can use it for the bad doesn't matter right. which one it's yeah. when two or three are gathered together in the name of the creator yes and you can create miracles that's all it's saying mm. and um yeah. and when two or three of you together the creator is there with you the creator is there with you Sure. Well, you're gathered, and and there's only you that is gathered there. Um, but um, we would say even then, you can call in your star family, your soul family. There are many beings that will join you. Um, sure. That are not in the physical, but still there to aid you in bringing forth the positive things that you want to bring forth. They are always. Um, the host of heaven or the angels are always happy to help someone do something good. They are there for you. Yeah. And Leona has got it. It's, a, it's all about the intent. You know, when you put those thoughts together, when two or three put those intentions together, you know, you can create, you can create miracles. Indeed. Yeah. There is one that is written books uh, a book on your planet uh, called lynn taggart uh, we're digging this information out of his head here um and then she wrote a book called the power of eight so only eight people could manifest a miracle a miracle healing for mm -hmm. one of their members so it doesn't take a whole lot of you to make big changes and um we would say uh, ending your videos with a positive affirmation would do immense good um and indeed we would um enjoying this one to do so also even though he is not on that platform you can always invite you in phil yeah your team and your spiritual team that would be wonderful we are always welcome to be here for you and we will always be welcome to bring forth whatever information you need that we can provide no i can feel the love that comes through it's wonderful very emotional yeah phil is channeling Gypsy JJ. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So we've predicted a lot of things, um, you know, good things that are going to be happening and changing in 2023. Um, can you see free energy coming in 2023? Um, well, we receive free energy already being utilized by certain uh, star we will we, we, we out uh, space force they are using uh, 
fusion um, yes. propulsion to power their anti-gravity ships. Yes. Uh, you, you are no longer just utilizing rockets. This is just a show uh, for the population. Your planet is yes. already there uh, with its knowledge, but the, it is indeed being suppressed. Uh, again, yes. this is something that uh, you can bring out quicker, um, though it will happen um, just because of the energy of the planet raising to a point where all of you will be aware of that knowledge um, because they will not be able to hide it anymore. There will come a point in your um, evolution here where that will happen, that you will know these things as we know these things as we can see they can hide nothing from us really um, and we know that that may make you feel creepy that you can hide nothing from us but um it is only because you have let yourself be controlled that you become an open book so um take hold of yourselves uh, claim your sovereignty and become whole and vibrant. Shine your light, we say. We don't realize how powerful we are, do we? No, you do not. Uh, though the ones that control, that try to control you do realize how powerful you are. And this is why... Mm -hmm. They will shut you down any chance they have. Uh, we are careful yeah. here. We realize that we may speak of things that will, uh, uh, we don't know. We hope that they will not shut you down for what we say. It is it's indeed okay. a prediction. We are not saying it's a thing, but um, we see you. We do yeah. see you. We're going to be changing this will come off today and it will go on to bit shoot so um yeah we're we're aware <laughs> um yeah well but, uh, we yeah. are not we are not certain that we have said anything that will trigger this but we know that we have done so in the past and so that we are just cautious and we want to let you know that this is the possibility for we see the truth as we see it and we speak the truth as we speak it as we should be able to. Yeah. Yes. We should be able to. Yes. Yeah. This, this is the way a holographic uh, society operates. Everybody knows what's going on. Um, there is telepathy, right? This is what we deal with. We cannot lie, per se, but people would see that we are not being honest with ourselves. Exactly. So, um, this will come to you uh, eventually uh, in your progress, and we are hopeful that um, this will improve your society greatly. Uh, oh, yeah. Whoa. Sorry. That just took me out of there. Something hit <laughs> the house. <laughs> Thank you for that, Phil, so much. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to drop out of that, but I heard something thump in my house. Well, I wonder what that was. Thank you um, as well. well. I'm not sure what it was. but yeah. I have been hearing a lot of, of things crashing, bumping, knocks. I don't know if anybody else has in their house. And it's like things just falling off the walls or, you know, different vibrational energy. I'm seeing a lot of that. That just reminds me of the film Interstellar. Has anybody ever seen the film Interstellar where they're on yeah. a different dimension and they come through and they're trying to get the attention by pushing these books off the shelf? Yeah, oh, yeah. Reminds, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Just reminds me of that. No, it, yeah. it sounded like there might have been an explosion out there somewhere. And it just, oh, uh, God. Oh, dear. Well, That's not good. Any, I didn't see any lightning or anything, so I don't know. You sure it's not oh. fireworks? Oh, it could be. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just, <laughs> there's a boom. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, they're going off left and right here in Florida. Big time. Um, we haven't had well, it's, it's a little early for that here. It's only 8 11 here. 
<laughs> they they started like six thirty here. Oh, so, okay. As soon as it got dark, yeah. <laughs> All right. Melissa's uh, saying one of her favorite affirmations is, "I'm uniting my light with those who wish to heal our world." No, I just heard another one. Yeah. Yeah. That that's yeah. that's beautiful, Melissa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I've just put something in the chat there. So if anybody has got any good affirmations that we can then use, um, please put them in capitals and then, you know, that might be something that we could use. What do you think, Greg? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I think well, that'd be I fine. am a co-creator. Yeah. Yeah. No. I could I could feel the energy was very positive coming through. So um was that Sharla, did you say, Phil? Was that Sharla? Yeah, uh, well, yeah that was her energy coming through. I mean, she she yeah. brings a lot big time. Kyle's yeah. a little bit he, he goes into light language. So I wasn't sure because he kind of started off that and but uh, she came through. Um, you know, that was that was mostly her energy, yeah yeah uh, i mean if you want i can try to go back in in there but i didn't want to take up too much of your time because i, I know you've probably been doing this for a while but oh, anyway, no, we're yeah. gonna until, until it's uh 12 past um, until it's 12 on eastern time so yeah we uh we we went through our 88 predictions <laughs> yeah, uh, we did. Uh, back and watch that uh, no, I don't know that me watching it, you'll get a, anything for that. I can't can't like it. I can't share it. Well, I can share it. I have learned. Yeah, you can. Yeah. If I click on it with uh, my right click on it, I can save the URL and post it wherever I want. <laughs> so they haven't stopped me yeah. from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Gloria said, who is Shana? Shana, Shana. Who is oh, Shana? Oh, well, that I can explain. Um, Shana is um well she was uh, my grandmother um but she also is my uh, twin flame or my um um uh, anima if it would be the uh Jungian term uh, so she is the female side of me um so if I if I'm coming through as a female, uh, she will be the the dominant uh, uh, voice coming out. I mean, she'll be the she'll be the spirit, the side of my spirit that's going to be the female, right? So, yep. uh, and um, she has a position with the um, uh, the Sirius B Academy of Light, which is a uh, near as I can tell, it is sort of like a, well, these uh, people are like professors of the academy, and um, they're actually um, they tend to bring in higher dimensionals in through into this. Um, so they they call themselves the Council of Twelve because they uh, encompass all twelve dimensions. Um, so, and in fact, when we were we were getting Shala, we're getting the whole thing. Um, otherwise, you know, Shala would be, and 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 the reason why Shala can talk so freely with us is because she has also been on the planet uh, Earth, and so therefore. In fact, she was a Canadian, so she she knows English language very well. Um, so when she comes through, then she's a better interpreter for me. Plus, I have more of a direct con I don't have to rise quite as high uh, to speak through her, uh, whereas if I'm going to bring through Source, I've got to really um, go uh, deep, is what I would say. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, she's just a, she's a Syrian, 
um, a blue bean um, uh, has no hair on her head, but she does have a rather large head um, and a kind of a pale blue. Um, and uh, she's in a um, suit, a, a one piece, a, a basically, a, yeah, that's what they wear with a kind of a flare here on the on her shoulders. Yeah. Quite striking. Um, yeah. Wow. I'll have to try to draw her one of these. Times. Yeah, that would be great. So how can people get in touch with you, Phil? I know that obviously you're not on YouTube anymore, but do you have Facebook? Do you still go live on Facebook and things like that? Um, no, I haven't yet, but I am going to start. I'm going to try to see if I can hook up uh, StreamYard to both Rumble and Facebook. Uh, yeah. I'm on I'm on Rumble at Phil Christopher's, all one name. And I'm on uh, yep. BitChute as, oh, darn. Um, Phil Christo, I think, is what I'm using there. Um, at Gmail. Yeah, you have, like, your whole Gmail address for your... Can you write yeah. it in the chat, Greg? Can you write yeah, it in the I can, I, I, Yeah, let me find it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm still in my... It's I'm switching my energy blogs between Rumble and Bitch. One, yeah. one and the other. Doing one and the other. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I will um, look into the possibility of getting back on YouTube. Yeah. But I've got to do some some wonky stuff i gotta get a new i gotta get one of those burn phones i yep. gotta get bpin um and i might have to um reboot my computer <laughs> i don't know um but i gotta fig I'll, I'll figure it out it's just messing around with it until i get a something that works they will not keep me down they will not stop me I am do you, do you need a B, D, a VPIN then? Do you need that? Um, so do well, they actually you know, track you on that then as well? Well, yeah, they won't be able to track me and they, I'll be able to come in with a different, uh, um, what is it called? Um, you, uh, IP address. address, yeah. And if I come in with a different IP address, then maybe that will work. <laughs> Plus, not having the same uh, phone number as my other yep. name. Plus, I might have to change my name, like uh, P. Martin Christopher's. I might do that. Or P. Martin. Mm. <laughs> Probably have to oh. go P. Martin something something. But <laughs> yeah. But I'll oh, figure it's just out. Wrong. Yeah, I don't, and I, I really don't know why they, why I got a third strike on that sucker. I don't know it. Must have been some video I did in the past. They just went back and said, "Oh, well, we got another one here." So, yanking, <laughs> jerking, right, right. You know, they might have done with you what they did with me. They pulled something out from two years ago. Um, Melissa Kennedy saying, "Can't Phil just go to Rumble?" He is on Rumble. Yeah, yeah, I am on Rumble. No, yeah. I went there. I have been on Rumble before, so I just went right back and then. And I'm kind of enjoying it because I can talk about anything I want. Yeah. <laughs> we got fact, spam on my love. Obligated to talk about the things that I want. <laughs> so I might not even come back to YouTube. I might enjoy it over in Rumble too much. Even though yeah. I um, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I can speak freely. Yeah, hang on. I'm, I'll put Phil's Rumble account here too there we go yeah appreciate that and um oh yeah, yeah no, we got I, spammer huh yeah so ignore you, ignore the spammer guys there's nothing i can do about that well that let me go on to facebook and it's probably coming from there is it your face or mine i don't know it's got to be, well, it's got to be the minor. See, the thing is, you know, these people, you know, we can get, we can get cross with these people, but these people have no idea 
that that's happening because I was spamming myself whilst I was live. It was like Alison James, I was, and it was coming up with this request for I've never I've never done that before. I've never I was actually speaking live, and it, and it was coming up with my my um, Facebook. So they use your account. You have no idea. So it's not their fault. This person will have no idea that they're they're being used. Oh, this has been blocked. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sorry that stuff is happening to you. That's though a lot of I heard a lot of the bots. So yeah, they are. They are bots. It's, it, they're just hijack, and that to me says that it's it's Facebook doing it. That's not um, somebody who's just using the technology. That, that I, I feel that's that is Facebook. Yeah. All right. Well, we could actually. Yeah. Got it. So, um, has anybody got any questions that you want to ask us? We might as well do some cards. We can get some cards out and see if anybody's got any um, predictions that you want us to look at. Phil, you up for that? Having a little look? Oh, yeah. My, I, can, I can read cards, I think. If not, I'll get <laughs> Charlotte to come back in and read them. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. She's not too far away right now. It's like I can call her back in if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I found my tarot cards, Greg. You did? Oh, you I did, yes. So you're not, in the you're not stuck my using, car. using the everyday witch ones? I know. I've, I've booted my car. They were in there. I was like, I've lost everything so far. I've I lost my makeup bag. I lost um, my sellotape. I, I lost. There was about four different things that I lost. I like, How did you lose that stuff? So, has anybody got any questions you want to ask about our global predictions? Twenty twenty three, Savannah is going to be amazing. Yes, it, it is. Hang in there hang in there trust me i know about 2022 after you know quadruple bypass you know i i it, it, it'll get better if i made it through this you're going to make it through this we're all going to be so much better off one year from now and we're sending you lots of love lots and lots of love we are yes so Leona's saying, what exactly is happening in France with the violent protests, Kurdish? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Like picking up theft of some kind. <clears throat> Has there been any company that's gone down and taken with it money? There been people, yeah, it's like um, some company has, has gone down. There's a feeling of unfairness of, you know, people losing money or losing their security in some, somehow. I mean, I know nothing because I've not read anything about this, so I don't know. I don't either. Uh, I got, I got that. It's all. It's a bunch of satanic um, underlyings amongst all this in order to bring down the vibration of people in France. Things were starting to, to turn around, and all of a sudden, it's kind of like during the summer of love. All of a sudden, you have this Kent State incident, which. You know the shootings on this one campus in kent state and it just changed the whole vibration of the summer of love that's what they're trying to do in france change that vibration but yeah there's a lot of satanic uh underlyings going down at higher levels and it's all about vibration yeah yeah i mean i did get the death card i did get the death card leona Okay, we did get that. Um, that. That can be kind of like, um, you know, the fear of or um, somebody being hurt. It can be that. Yeah. Did you want to answer uh, that, Phil? 
Yeah, well, um, I've got the, in the past here, I've got the Queen of Hearts. It's, it's a heartbreak. Uh, some, somebody's heart has been broken. Somebody's uh, Somebody's been betrayed is what I'm hearing here. Um, then we the King of Wands um, is Aquarian. So uh, this is an integral person, a, a, somebody of, of sovereignty who's feeling this. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So um, strategy or something's being stolen. And then we have the Page of... Uh, excuse me. Yeah, page of pinnacles. So this is somebody young with a money person. Um, oh, I wonder if the betrayal is by yeah, a young person with money. And um, then we have the tower in the future here, the four yeah. coins, and the ten of wands. So, yeah, there's something that uh, this is a tearing down of society, uh, and they're trying to hang on. Yeah, this is the cabal. They're trying to hang on to their money here, but uh, the burden is getting too great for them. Yep. So, um. I'm not too sure about this, the first part of that. Um, it's really kind of unclear what, what kicked it off, but it's got something to do uh, with money or, and and I'm hearing that a, a very integral person was betrayed. So Yep. That's and there's the strategy. It's a strategy too. Some, there's Something about this is a strategy. They're strategizing it or looking to steal something. One of the two. Yeah, yeah I feel you. I feel you. I think there's multiple different layers to to that. And, you know, it's it's all to do with, with um, I feel, the, the people. And like Greg said, it's like just as it starts to get good and starts to kind of look as if it's on high vibration they want to lower the vibration so yeah yeah there's a little bit of that um i can see that but um i kind of get with the the king of wands is that um, there are let's tell you the gray hats are are utilizing this uh, to tear down the structure a little bit and um and they know that they're really tight with money, so they figure they can get away with it, really. Yeah. Is what I feel. So yeah. the gray hat or alliance kind of a thing, you know. Because, yeah. I mean, we have to think about this alliance of the SSP or Secret Space Program, if that's uh, who we're talking about here, that, and, and they are doing uh, stuff like this. Um, they come from... Uh, that dark side, the cabal, the deep state, all right, that's been that's wanting to control us. They they they're rebelling against us, but they're they come from that. So you know they're hmm. tainted oh, by it. We have this, um, but Susan, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. Um, you know, what would you like to know about the pole shift and or what volcano activities specifically um or uh, something more yeah it's just it's too broad of a, a two questions actually so um just okay. find a way to re-ask uh, re -ask them and to something more specific um more is saying how long will king charles be on the throne are you talking okay. about the well how long will you gotta ask the first well, question what did you will just say? Will he be on the throne? How long will he be sitting on the toilet? No, he, <laughs> he, won't, be, he won't be on the throne at all. I can't, see, I can't see the coronation. I can't see it. When I look, I can't actually see it. 
Mm. You'll have to keep an eye on the time, love. Melissa just said only 30 more minutes till 2023. Is that about right? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You have to do the countdown, love. Because okay. obviously I don't. Yeah. Um, wow. I, I I don't have a time, but I I don't see I don't see him being there specifically very long. I see I see change happening there, and it culminates with the world. But um, you know, right right now there's there's things that are in motion going on right now that um are are getting him things are getting exposed and he's shitting bricks basically and, oh, yeah. and all the corruption that's coming out he's included in it that's a, that's what i have and do you know what the lights you know they do all the lights around um you know big ben and the and the uh, the yeah. wheel you know, they do all the, the fireworks and everything. They had the Queen's crown and they had her voice, you know, talking about love and things like that. And then they had him as well. And it was like, wow, this is just so fake. It really is yeah, so fake. Yeah. So, yeah. One of these feel? things is not like the other. Anyway, yeah. Go. Yeah. You wanted to go, Phil, yeah? Yeah. So um, what I got... Uh, the query is the world, um, so completion. Um, so the, I'm kind of getting that the crown is complete. Is it, there isn't going to be any more crown. Um, well then, in the and on the other side of that, we've got the magician. Um, this guy can be all about illusions and and whatnot, right? And uh, in between uh, modifying it is the star, uh, which is hope and the clarity of the vision. So, yeah, we're, there's going to be a lot of clarity coming out, and this illusion is going to be um, exposed. That, um, yeah. Well, I can't say what he is, but he's, let us say he likes uh, little girls and little boys. Oh. So that's, that's going to get exposed. Yeah. That's going to get exposed. He's 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 done for. He's completed. Mm -hmm. okay. so if you think about the coming out before 2024, well, there you go. Um, I, I got a huge breakthrough from the normies. Suddenly, they're going to wake up. Bang. You know, it's going to be a huge explosion yeah. and then suddenly exposed. going... Um, like mm -hmm. something's going to be revealed and it cannot be taken back. They cannot oh. dispute it. It's yeah. going to be that big. It's female. Talking about a female. Um, and this person um, is going to have details um, details on the whole of the royal family. Um, and I do believe, and I know that people hate Harry and, and Meghan, uh, but I do believe that if they are whoever they are, whether or not they are the real Harry and Meghan, we don't know these days, um, but they are actually working alongside taking down the royal family and creating a disharmony and a doubt um, with the royal family. And it's all, it's all by design so that people don't get too frightened uh, when things start happening about the royal family because there's a lot of royalists out there all over the world still um who won't understand it and will will really freak out um and so as they're trying to kind of dislodge that a little bit with the megan and harry um series on netflix yeah 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 i mean they have already kind of outed no well, i'm not totally out of them yeah um, yeah but um good question moira good question. And this is for entertainment purposes only too yeah, this yeah. is indeed entertainment point and total speculation on my part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, 
I had two cards pop out here. Uh, the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. Now, if I was reading this as Jean Margot would read it, I would say the Deep State is going to take the shaft. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <She wouldn't... laughs> but, but she wouldn't say that, but I did. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. It's all coming down. It's all coming down. What's the next question, Love? Well, we talked about this just recently, didn't we? Uh, Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. I think we asked that of, me, of Shala there. What did she say? Uh, and Ellie and I talked about it, too, I, th I think, um, last week. I can't remember. I, I, honestly, I've remembered a blonde moment or peroxide moment. Oh, yeah. She said something about it being tied to the, the Micronova. If it's going to happen at all. But it, uh, we definitely can calm it down. Yeah, what, what, yeah, what film, Phil said earlier oh, yeah. today. Yes. Shala, was that. Um, yeah. Phil, yeah. Phil through Shala said that um, positive intentions and thoughts will go yes. a long way. Yeah. But right. I can't remember us is what I mean. I can't remember us um, looking into it. But yeah. then that might just be me not having a good memory. We do look, we honestly, at these global predictions, we're flying through so many questions now. We are. But yeah, uh, positive intentions are will go a long way on that. So maybe yeah. we shouldn't we shouldn't concentrate on it anymore. Maybe that question we're just going to say it's all going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It is going to yeah. be fine. So we just the whole world's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. If we, I'm not sure about this. Is ancestry a bloodline locator? Do you understand that question? No. I can't actually is I can't actually read that, Gary. I'm sorry. Is ancestry a bloodline locator? I don't I don't understand that. Do you? No. I mean I, I sort of understand it. Um so okay, so they're explaining it to me here. So your mother and father bring in a certain DNA mix, but what you express is totally up to your soul. So you have a contract, so I'll be uh, a uh, a positive or a negative, or I'll be O positive, I'll be O negative. Uh, so you've got some choices, but you get to choose which way you're going to come through it, and it depends on your more on your soul signature than your ancestral uh, bloodline per se it, it, it is part of it but it isn't the whole part of it is what they're telling me yeah yeah and well i'm wondering you know because deborah harvey is asking Bella, if she was relating, referring to Ancestry.com, a bloodline locator, is that oh, what you mean? Yeah, I don't know. That makes, that makes more sense to me. I, yeah. Are they trying to find bloodlines through Ancestry.com? If that's the question, yeah, I, we, we could look into it. Well, okay. Are they trying to use Ancestry? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. No, <laughs> Yeah, that's a different question. Okay. Well, that's what she says. She's that's what she means. So yeah, let's. Well, well, we can look into that then. Is ancestry.com looking into specific bloodlines and trying to locate specific bloodlines? Who knows? We'll find out though. It's a good question.
I got a yes with that. Yeah. Me too. But I think this is the good guys, not the bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure that the bad guys aren't using it as well, but um, there's something specifically going on with the with the yeah, white. I, I just looked into that too and I got benevolence, yeah. So the benevolence are behind a lot of it. But although it could be, like you said, used for malevolent reasons. Mm. Mm. Oh. You got anything, Phil? Right, so um well it's a little weird. This uh I'm doing this Katina knife and this one row is all cups. And actually it starts with the Queen of Cups in the past, uh, and then goes to uh, the page of the page of cup. So that's like a soft yes on the uh, on the question. Um then we've got the king cup and then the knight of cups. So this uh, both of those can kind of go either way. Uh, coming down to the the future with it, it's, so we've got the page of swords. So they're getting a new idea, and the king of pentacles. Uh, they're doing it mostly for money, but we're getting the death card at the end, so it's going to be transformed or transcended. Um, So I, I, I kind of get that it's been used at different times for different things. And it could be used, it was used to track uh, uh, bloodlines, uh, you know, with all the cups there. That's, that kind of speaks to liquids and blood. Uh, so, yeah, they were using it for that purpose, though... Um, Is that a Knight of Pentacles? We've got somebody coming in and that's going to change it. The Knight of Pentacles. So, okay, yeah. So what I'm getting here is that they're, they're going to be going down uh, with this Death Guard, the, the being transformed uh, because uh, of the, they're going to collapse with the, the money system, basically. If there is a collapse in the money system, I, I'm not that positive on that, but that's kind of why I would read those cards. Anyway, that's what I got. There's some interesting questions being added here. Um, so what do they do? Um, oh, and do they clone with DNA samples? Um, well, I've got a yes with that. Um, yes, um, I'm not sure they can anymore. But I feel that they have in the past, yes. Have they closed? Oh, I yeah. Didn't get, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get a yes on that. I, well, I, thought, um, I thought it would have been, but go ahead, Phil. Well, I got a soft yes on it, and then I checked with my pendulum, and it says yes. Also, to that specifically the cloning issue. So, yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's part of what they, they've been doing, why they're looking at bloodlines, why they're... Uh, utilizing that was uh, for the cloning purpose and that's what's uh, dying away we're not gonna because they've used these clones um, as a way to control the population really I think they've been using it for uh, is it gain of function gain of function well no it's more um, like they'll um, tap somebody, you know, and take them out and then put in a clone 
that they can control. You know, okay. like uh, Trudeau or Macron or Mr. Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know, so anybody that they they the can the clones can be more easily controlled than the individual is what I'm hearing because they don't have a, a complete soul. They're they're working off the soul of the original so they put that original on ice so to speak and then they can uh, manipulate the clone easier mm -hmm. or they just take the well I'm, I'm hearing that that's a problem with them is if they, they take out the original uh, then the clone can adopt more of that soul so it becomes less controllable Oh, kind of a catch-22 with him. Well, you know, you can't do bad things and expect everything to go good for you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they can do it as much now. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that's kind oh, of Oh, it, it's crazy. coming to the end from what that, mm. with that death card. That's, it's coming to a slow death. So that's, what have you got, my love? Um, I got, you know, I, I, I thought for sure, but no. Got to look at things from a different angle. What they're doing, it's kind of like the the seed vault that they have in mm. case there's a major catastrophe. It's in order to continue the continuity of life. And this is what I got. The hangman. Ten of them. Ten pentacles. Family card. That's It's about keeping that continuity together and celebration, you know, because that's you know that's their intention. It's not. It's not a nefarious intention behind it. I feel as if it's both. I think that is a good side. They're doing that. But I do think the other side was trying to manipulate as well. Yeah, but they've that's what I would have thought. Been, been yeah. stopped. I would have thought yeah. that. Okay. What's what's our next one? Uh, one. Next one. Do we have a next okay. one? Okay. We got twelve minutes. Do you know what we could just? We could just. Um, okay, I, I, I need to need to message you something. I'll message you something okay. in the private chat. Okay. Okay. The answer is yes. You're an age, really? <laughs> <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Wanna what? With well, do oh hell yeah. I haven't even finished typing <laughs> it yet, you Here we go. I've sent it. I've sent it. So we need one more, don't we, really, before um, it's it's uh, 12. Yeah. If you got anything else that you guys want to ask. Yeah. There's a video of Bill Clinton who looks like a zombie. Must have a makeup. Yeah, exactly. I agree, Alexis. He really is like mind, total mind controlled. Yes. Four. Yeah. Okay. Did you answer? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, well, this is an All interesting right. question. Shannon's asking, what is the first Would positive you... impact for humanity in 2023? Okay, what's the first possible impact for my What's the first? Okay. okay, that's a good one. All right. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Wow. All right. Um, can I go first? Sure. But it's all about the finances. I think um, there is a lot of information about hoarding of finances. Um, somebody in particular is being investigated about hoarding of finances. Um, and that is going to create a whole, um, it's like a snowball effect looking at a lot of other people as well. So, um, and it's going to come full circle. So it's a big thing, big thing. Yeah, that's what I saw. Okay. With money. Um, I, I was looking at my predictions and I was trying to get a vibe over what ones or what one would be the first to come through. And I'm feeling I'm 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 feeling it's gonna be the collapse of the stock market. And okay. um yeah, I got the nine of wands and the five of pentacles to go with that. So it's I'm I'm thinking, yeah, that's you're gonna see the stock market collapse first thing. Uh, it's and it's all in direct relation to the collapse of the U.S. dollar, and um, you know, and by the end of the year, we're going to see the silver skyrocket because of all this. Um, yeah, you also see certain cryptos step backwards, but then take a huge leap forward. It, it's a snowball effect, but it all starts with the stock market crashing and people losing faith in the US dollar for entertainment purposes only. But not really. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I'm seeing here is we're going to have a big change in justice. Um, we got the page of ones uh, in line with that. So it could be about money. We're going to get justice around money. And then um, in the future, we're going to have, well, we're looking to a new horizon. We'll have something to celebrate. And um, we might still have some battles to do. But um, overall, uh, we've got big change coming in justice. So I would say... Well, that, that was one that I didn't, uh, I don't know whether Shawa talked about this or not, but I had gotten a hit uh, that the Bronson, Brunson, Brunson case right. uh, will be, uh, they'll decide by the end of January. So I'm kind of feeling that that's what it is. Wow. Okay. And that would open yeah. up a whole can of worms for uh, anybody that... Uh, Broke that law. Who puts their worms in cans? Uh, a lot of kids <laughs> did. I, I did, actually. <laughs> I remember one time I had them in a plastic bag. And oh. it, it was inside my baseball glove. And I left it in the garage. Uh -huh. a really hot summer day. And I forgot yep. about it for like a week. And it stunk so badly i couldn't get that still stench out of my baseball glove i had to throw the glove away oh no yeah so i should have oh, had a can, should have had a can of worms instead of a bag of worms <laughs> oh, worm. oh i went out and caught all these night crawlers i was expecting to go fishing yeah what's our next question <laughs> we've got five minutes haven't we we've got five yeah. minutes um, there's a question that's been asked a couple of times um, about Iran and the violence in Iran. I'm trying to okay. find the, the question. I'll find it now. You, it's always when you can't find it, isn't it? I just uh, yeah. I think that was no, back a ways too. Not. I just I didn't really understand yeah, the then question. Then it asked again. Mm -hmm. asked again recently there's a violence going on in iran apparently uh, i don't know i can just look into iran um 
understand the disruption there. I'll just look into that. There it is. Okay. Will the violence settle soon? Okay. Hmm. I got the violence is, is by design. It's a deliberate thing. Yeah. I got we're first? not getting told the whole story. Yeah. Go ahead. Hmm. No, you go first, babe. No, that's basically it. We're not being told the whole story. Oh. Um, there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that uh, is, is that we don't know about. There's there's a lot more to the story that we're not being told. That's what I have. Okay, what I'm what I'm feeling um, is that they have um, there was about to be some big change that was, um, and some good changes were just about to come in in Iran, um, and violence then was made um, by the black hats. Um, they started the violence deliberately um, to take um, all the attention away from uh, the good stuff that was just going to going to happen and i feel that was linked with the finances as well um, there was going to be some big financial changes happening there yeah that's funny melissa i need a, I need a clone she can do my laundry <laughs> <laughs> she said later on at cooking <laughs> what do you get about iran and the violence phil Well, we've got one minute, one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. So in the past, we had the 10 of wands. So this is a burden. Um, we've got the eight of wands in the querying position. So we're swift movement. Uh, we've got the page of cups. So it's a pretty emotional issue for them. Um, they do want to celebrate or it's a family thing. And, um, We've got the Eight of Cups, which is a wish fulfilled. And the King of... Oh, darn it. King of Cups. And he doesn't know what the hell he wants. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles. So... The way out is uh, through... The quantum uh, reset. Basically, they're they really don't want to be fighting, but they are. And um, I mean, it doesn't. It almost looks like they almost. And these cards would almost make me think that they, um, they're ready to put this down. I don't know. I almost wonder if this is actually something that is just in the past. I'm the guessing there's like ten seconds to midnight right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay, midnight right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was pretty close. Just real quick. Happy New Year. You can finish up, Phil. All right. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. Yes. Welcome Cheers. to 2023. May this 20 is going to be a huge year, folks. Huge year. Huge Ooh. year. Lots of positive things are happening this year. That's so. right. Yeah. Make this your year to, to predict what you want the world to be. You right. are in control. Okay, so try not to think of the worst scenario. Think of the best timeline. Make the best timelines happen. Okay. Fireworks are going off all over the place here, all around Sarasota, Florida. All are around they? me. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Megan. The kids were still up. So sorry, Phil. You go. Yeah, oh, sorry. Here you go. There. I was happy to be here and you know a couple of your cards there. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate that. And uh Shala wants to say she was happy to be here too. <laughs> Aw. Definitely Aww, a pleasure having you on. So um well let's let's wrap it up. We've we made it three hours here. We've got lots of predictions. Ellie and I spit out 
what, 88 predictions or more in a short period of time. Then yeah. Phil Shala came on and gave us some more. So hope you guys enjoyed um, the show and all the predictions. Wow. <laughs> really, really going out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can hear him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can hear him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Him. Yeah. Well, and I thank you for letting me on here, and I'm most grateful. Our pleasure. Certainly. No, it's our pleasure. Definitely. I was tempted to stay on and do some readings. I don't know if I'm going to come back on and do it. I'm not sure. I don't oh, know. Um, Ellie and I are going to be having um, a one-day reading that we're doing together on January 10th. So uh, did you put that up on your website? No, but I will. Okay. Just so you guys know. Yeah, if you want to read it, it's one day reading that yeah. Allie and I are doing on January 10th. So, uh, check so do you out. still have uh, openings, uh, Allie, for uh, readings? Or? Yeah, yeah. We haven't got any bookings yet at all. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, then I'll go ahead and book one. We haven't then. advertised it yet, officially. This was it. No, no, I'm talking about Allie's. Oh yeah, the 20, 2023. Yeah, you, you yearly bookings. Yeah, you you got. How how are you doing on those? Yeah, they they're, they're going well. Yeah, they're going well. I'm doing the two hour one, the one hour one, and the thirty minute one. <laughs> so um, wow. So I can do a very brief overview. Um, I can do um, a bit longer, and then I can do a very in depth one. Mm -hmm. awesome. All righty, I'll set one up then. I'm going in February. But, um, no, I was thinking I might come back on in a minute and just do a few. I feel as if okay. I, like, I need. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. No. So, no I, I love you guys. Thank you for joining us, um, everyone in the chat. If you're watching this on the recorded version, <laughs> Thank you. Check back. Sit bookmark it and check back at the end of the year. See what predictions we, we nailed. Guarantee yeah. we nailed a bunch. It's going to be an exciting year. It so. is. It's, it's been wonderful hanging out with you as well, Phil. Well, thank you. I, I enjoyed this too. Yeah. And anytime I can bring, I enjoy anytime I can channel Shala. <laughs> yeah. So, nice energy. Yeah. That, yeah. that was a real gift for us. We enjoyed it. So yeah. thanks again and happy new year, everyone. We'll see you the next time, hopefully Tuesday night for uh, date night work. Stay tuned for Allie on her uh, channel. She might yeah. be doing some readings. Yeah. I might be coming back in a minute and doing okay. some readings. All right. All right Love you all. Take care, everyone. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>